We are here for What's Up This Week from Do This, Not That. This is our short episode where we break down what is going on in the world of marketing and business this week that we should all be thinking about. And then later in the week, we still have our Ask Us Anything. And at the end of the week, we have our longer episode about tactics, tips, and stuff. So thanks for checking it out. So what is going on this week? Well, LinkedIn launched something really cool. It is LinkedIn CTV ads. What is that? CTV is connected TV and running a CTV ad, whether it's with LinkedIn or anyone else allows video ads to be shown on a TV set or a device while a viewer is watching a movie, a TV show or other video content through a streaming service. So let's say you're using your Apple TV to stream on any one of your different apps that you have. You now as a marketer can run your LinkedIn video ads and have those ads appear uh, within those streaming devices. And you could use the same targeting criteria that you do to run your regular LinkedIn ads. You can now use that criteria and target people using streaming devices when they're watching TV or watching a movie or whatever. And this is really the merging of digital and connected devices all into one. So I think there's gonna be a real big change, especially for B2B marketers, to be able to use connected TV, but I also think it's gonna turn LinkedIn into even more of a consumer marketing channel to reach more of an affluent audience. So connected TV ads from LinkedIn is new this week. Another new thing this week is from Meta. Following really what Google did with YouTube a few weeks back, Meta is expanding its AI labeling policy on all the content that you see on Facebook, on all their different apps. The new process from Meta, right, will have a little label that says made with AI. And it's going to be appended to content when Meta detects anything that's utilizing AI. could be an image. It could be copy. Anything that's related to AI if they're able to detect it, which they're pretty good at, it's going to now have a label that says made with AI. And I think this is a good thing. YouTube is now doing the same thing. And this is where we're heading. We need to label all of the AI stuff so we know what's real and what's not real. And we can't rely on government regulations to do it because it's going to take too long. And we're going to start to get really confused about what we're seeing. So Meta is now rolling that out. That's new this week. Something I learned this week which I have no idea if everybody already knew this, but it's a trending thing, and I didn't know that you could do this, and this is wild, all right? Did you know that if you text yourself or text your family member, like let's say you're traveling somewhere, okay, and you want to figure out what gate your flight is at or what carousel your baggage is going to come out on or is your flight on time, anything related to your flight, if you text yourself, The two-letter airline code, like if you're flying American Airlines, it would be AA, right? The two-letter airline code and then the number of your flight. So let's say your flight was AA1102. That was your flight. If you literally just text yourself AA1102, you then get back a link instantly that you can click on, and it tells you everything about your flight. It tells you the gate that it's at, the carousel of your bags, if it's on time, everything about your flight. All you need to do is send yourself the two-letter code of your airline plus the number of your flight. You could text it to a friend if you want them to be able to track you, whatever, or yourself. I saw this. I tried it. It blew my mind. Very cool hack. I'm doing that from now on, period, end of story. All right, nonsense that's going on this week that, of course, I find important is that it was announced that Legally Blonde, there's going to be a new TV series coming out on Amazon, the Legally Blonde TV series from the Reese Witherspoon movie. I'm into this great movie, very pro legally blonde TV show. And then the other big news this week, Adam Sandler has confirmed we are getting a happy Gilmore too. Come on. That's awesome. If you didn't like happy Gilmore, what is wrong with you? Although, you know, sometimes some of these sequels or even reboots are epically horrible and they should never be made. That's not the case, obviously with happy Gilmore, but like I remember fuller house, that was terrible. I don't even know. Is that still around? That was a horrible reboot. That should never have been made. Another one that they're coming out with in September is Transformers 1, which is a reboot of the Transformer movies. Enough. Enough with the Transformer movies. Who cares about the, the robots turning into 
whatever they turn into and taking over. I mean, who cares? Anyway, that's what's going on this week. So please check out our Ask Us Anything. Check out our longer episode and leave this thing a review if it wasn't terrible. And lastly, register for Guru Conference, our free virtual two-day email marketing event. We are going to run out of spots. 20,000 people are going to be there. It is all about email. It's two days. It's virtual. It's free. GuruConference.com. You are awesome.